In this video, we're going to learn how to remove consecutive spaces from a string in C. So if we have a string like this with consecutive spaces, we'll have here string with consecutive and spaces. We would say the string has consecutive spaces here, here, and here. What we want to do is replace those with a single space. So the new string should look like this with all those consecutive spaces replaced with a single space. We'll create a function to solve this problem. The function will have a void return type because the function doesn't need to return anything. The function is going to be called remove consecutive spaces. And the function is going to accept a string as an argument. So we'll have car star string. We'll also include some libraries to help us We'll include the string.h library because this library includes a function called strlen that's going to return the length of a string. We'll also include the stdbool.h library so we can use the bool type and the values true and false. Then down here, we'll provide an implementation of this function. So the first thing we'll do is find the length of the string. We'll have here int length to declare an int variable called length to store the string length. And we'll call the string length function strlen and we'll pass it our string. And the strlen function is going to return the length of the string, not including the special null terminator character that ends the string. Now we're going to solve this problem by overwriting the existing string with a new potentially smaller copy of the string with those consecutive spaces removed. So we're going to loop through each index of the string and we'll only copy the character to the new string if it's not a consecutive space. We'll declare an int variable called j to keep track of the number of characters in this new string. We'll initialize it to zero. We'll also declare a bool variable called last car, not space. It's going to keep track of whether or not the last character was not a space. We'll initialize it to true. Next, we'll create the loop. We'll have for int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, and i plus plus. And here we're using the counter variable i to go through the string one index at a time, from zero up until the length of the string. Now what we want to do is copy each character into the new string if it's not a consecutive space. So we'll have here, if the string at the index i does not equal the space character, then we want to copy it into the new string. So we'll have here, string at the index j is equal to string at the index i, and we'll increment j because there's a new character in the new copy of the string with the consecutive spaces removed. So the character at the index i is the character that we're currently looking at. And if that character is not the space character, then for sure, we want to copy that character to the new string. We also want to copy the character to the string if the last character copied was not a space character, because that means the character is not a consecutive space. So we'll have here, or last car not space is true. Because if the last character was not a space, even if this character is a space, we know it's not a consecutive space and we still want to copy it to the new string. Now before the loop iterates again and we look at the next character in the string, we'll update last car not space to reflect whether or not the last character was not a space. We'll have here, if the string at the index i is equal to the space character, then last car not space is going to be set to false. Otherwise, we'll set last car not space to true. So if the character that we're currently looking at is a space character, we set last car not space to false. Now, in the next loop iteration, if the next character is a space, that is a consecutive space, and we don't want to copy that to the new string. This will be false if that character is a space. This will also be false because we set last car not space to false, and we're not going to copy that character to the new string. Now, once we reach a character that is not a space, we're going to reset last car not space to true. 
Let's go through this with an example. Let's say we have the string with the characters A and then space and then space and then B followed by the null terminator character. Each of these characters is going to be at an index. So for example, A is going to be at the index zero. This space will be at the index one. This space will be at the index two and B will be at the index three and the null terminator will be at the index four. The length of the string is going to be four because the string length function does not include the null terminator in the string length. So we'll have a length of four. Now I is going to be initialized to zero. So I will initially be here. J is also going to be initialized to zero. So J is initially going to be here. And we start off with last car not space being true. So off here, last car not space is true. Now in the first loop iteration, the character in the string at the index i does not equal the space character. So we're going to copy that character in the string at the index i to the string at the index j. And we'll increment j. Now we'll also see this character is not the space character. And so we'll keep last car not space set to true. Now in the next loop iteration, i is going to be incremented by one and I will now be here. So now when we look at the character at the current index i, that character is a space. So this is going to be false, but last car not space is true. So we're still gonna copy that character and we're still going to increment j. So j will now be here. But this time, because the character is a space, we're going to set last car not space to false and we'll have false here. So now, in the next loop iteration, when i is incremented to two, again, the character that we're currently looking at is the space character. So this comparison is going to be false, but this time, last car not space is also false. So this time, we're not gonna copy the character and we're not going to increment j. Now the character is the space character, so we're going to continue to set last car not space to false. Now i is going to be incremented to three. Now at this point, this character is not the space character. So this here is going to be true. We are going to copy this character at the index i to the string at the index j. So we'll copy b here. Then we'll increment j to here. Now because the current character is not the space character, we'll set last car not space to true. Then i is going to be incremented by one and i will now be four. Now at this point, i is no longer less than the length, which is four. So at this point, the loop is going to stop. Now right now, between the indexes zero to j minus one, we have our new string with the consecutive spaces removed. All we need to do now is insert the null terminator character at the next j and we'll do that. So down here, we'll have string at the index j is equal to the null terminator character. We can now test out our function. So up here, we'll output the string before calling the function. We'll have printf and then before colon, single quote, percent s to output the string and single quote, followed by a new line. And we'll have string to output the string then we'll call our function and we'll pass it our string and we'll put the string after. We'll have printf after colon and then single quote percent s to open the string and single quote followed by a new line and then string to open the string. And we'll add some consecutive spaces to the test string. Then we'll save compile and run the program. And we can see those consecutive spaces have been removed. So this is how we can remove the consecutive spaces from a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.